today we will discuss about anatropy and probability the relation between anatropy and probability what affects it for the different different from where anatropy came and from where this concept came in 1896 boltzmann discovered a relation between anatropy and probability Boltzmann started a simple idea that equilibrium state of the system is a state of maximum probability. It means the probability of the system in equilibrium state is maximum. According to the thermodynamic equilibrium state of the system is a state of maximum anatropy. That is in thermodynamics we studied about the equilibrium state which defined as the state having maximum anatropy and in the statistical mechanics as we discussed earlier about the maximum state of equilibrium the state of equilibrium is defined as the state at which the probability is maximum that is the most probable state or the state having maximum probability when when any isolated system undergo irreversible process there is a net increase in anatropy of the system when the system is not in equilibrium then change in it will continue to take place until the equilibrium state is reached thus in equilibrium state both the anatropy and thermodynamical probabilities has their maximum values from this idea boltzmann to established a relation between that is this idea lets boltzmann to establish the relation between anatropy and statistical physics and this relation is known as boltzmann anatropy relation as anatropy and thermodynamical probability have their maximum values in the anatropy state therefore according to the boltzmann anatropy relation anatropy is the function of probability that is we can say that or we can write it as as we denote the anatropy by s and probability by w so we can say that anatropy is the function of the thermodynamic probability that is s is equals to function of w f of w can be denoted as f of w whereas s is the anatropy and w is the thermodynamic probability of the state for this consider two completely independent systems a and b having anatropy s1 and s2 respectively as the anatropy is n extensive or additive quantity that is we can say that the anatropy of the two system together will be equal to the sum of their separate anatropies that is we can say that the total anatropy of the system will be s is equals to s1 plus s2 also the thermodynamical probability of a composite system is the product of individual and independent probabilities therefore from the for the above two systems a and b having probability w1 and w2 the probability of the composite system combining system or composite system which can be denoted as w will be the product of two individual one because the system is independent to each other hence w is equals to w1 into w2 as we know that s is equals to f of w so so we can say that S one is equals to f of w one and S two is equals to f of w two. The anatropy of the system A is S one, 
which is the function of the probability of the system A that is function of W1 and S2 is the anotropy of the system B and W2 is the thermodynamical probability of the system B that is we can rewrite it as S is equals to the combining or compose for the composite system anotropy is F of W1 W2 hence we can say that from this results S is equals to S1 plus S2 we get function of W1 W2 is equals to S1 that is function of W1 S2 is equals to that is function of W2 that is function of W1 W2 is equals to function of W1 plus function of W2 differentiating this with respect to W1 we get when we differentiate this term with respect to W1 that is the term containing W2 will be constant that is W2 taken outside W2 F dash of W1 W2 is equals to function of W1 will be differentiated with respect to W1 F dash of W1 plus function of W2 does not contain W1 so this gives us the result 0 and when we differentiate this with respect to W2 then we can say that differentiating this with respect to W2, W1 is the constant term taking outside W1, F dash of W1, W2 is equals to F of W1 differentiating with respect to W2 gives the result 0 plus F dash of W2. We get the results like the two, these two equations. Dividing this equation by this, we get F dash of W1 divided by F dash of W2 is equals to F W2 F dash of W1 W2 divided by W1 F dash of W1 W2. Cancel out F dash F dash, we get W2 by W1 is equals to F dash of W1 over F dash of W2. Cross multiplication gives the result. W1 F dash of W1 is equals to W2 F dash of W2 is equals to K any constant. F dash of W1 is equals to K by W1. F dash of W2 gives us K by W2 from this result. And from this we get the value of W1 as it is the in the differentiation form. We have to integrate it. So integrate this equation. We get the results f of w1 is equals to what is the integration of 1 by x log x. That is we can put here log of w1. K log of w1 plus any constant c1. Differentiate integrating this term. This differentiating term we get f dash of w2. Integrating this with respect to w2 f of w2 is equals to 1 by w2 integrating integration gives us log of w2 k log of w2 plus any constant c2 from these two equation we can write in the journal form as f of w is equals to k log w plus c where c is the integration constant it is chosen in accordance with the third law of thermodynamics and for the thermodynamical system absolute at absolute zero w1 value of the w1 is w is 1 and s is 0 after putting the value or after putting this condition at absolute zero we get the result after putting the value of the condition at absolute zero in thermodynamical system that is w is equals to 1 and s is equals to 0 in this value we get 0 is equals to k log 1 plus c the value of log 1 is also 0 so we can say that 0 is equals to c that is the value of c is 0 put in here we get we get the result s is equals to k log of w this equation 
represent the relation between anotropy and thermodynamical probability. Now we have a task to find the value of k. In the next lecture, we will find the value of k. Stay safe at the home and work hard to increase the knowledge. Read another books too. Be happy.